Hey Risa, today I'm here to give you the Cybex Serona S car seat review. We've had this car seat for a good amount of time now, so I feel comfortable coming on here, sharing our thoughts and opinions with you. First, I will go over some of the basic stuff that I think you should know about the car seat, then get into more of like the key features, things that I feel like make it stand out than maybe your typical car seat, and then lastly, share our experience and if I would recommend it. So I have a lot of information on my phone here, so I will be looking down a lot and I will make sure to give you up close and go over the car seat as a whole. So the very first thing that you should know is that this is a convertible car seat made by Cybex and the model is the Serona S. The color ours is in is Manhattan Gray. It is a little bit of a difficult color to find just because it seems to be pretty popular. It is waitlisted on a couple different websites, but sometimes you're able to score it. I don't think that the waitlist is terribly long either, but as far as what this costs, it costs basically around $500, give or take. I will link you two different sites down in the bottom below. Albibaby.com is where we have bought I'm pretty sure every single one of our car seats, and that is where I continue to go. They have never done me wrong ever since I bought my very first car seat five and a half years ago, even more so, probably longer than that, with our oldest daughter. So I love buying from them. They always have a 20% off coupon. I'll leave information about that in the description box below. I'll also link you to Bye Bye Baby because they sell it as well. Of course, they have their 20% off coupons. And I will link Amazon if you absolutely need to buy it off of there, but I would highly recommend going through the other two websites because you can get the 20% off. If you're interested in what it looks like straight out of the box, what kind of packaging it comes in, stuff like that, I will link also the unboxing that I did a couple months ago down in the description box as well. We almost went with a different car seat, so when we decided to go with this one, we were really excited to get it out of there. So some of the basics that you should know about the car seat is that for rear-facing limits, it is from 4 to 50 pounds, and forward-facing limits is 22 to 65 pounds. The height limit is 49 inches. So as far as some of the more basic features that I think you should know about, it does have the no rethread harness, basically all you have to do is pull this little lever up here go up or down whatever you may need to adjust the headrest length you do not have to undo harnesses reattach them things like that that is pretty common in infant carriers but with here it's just this little lever up here you pull it up and you can move it up or you can move it down you do want to make sure that you wait for that click and you make sure that it's in a secure spot but it does have 12 different options you can pick from it also does offer newborn inserts. So this goes down here on the bottom and this is the headpiece that comes right up in here. I did obviously take these out. These are great, but just know that they do have weight limitations on them. So if your child does exceed the weight limits, you need to go ahead and take them out because they will not get a secure proper fit in the car seat otherwise. Okay, so I tilted the camera a little bit downwards so you can start to see some of these features that are up close, but it does offer a cup holder. You can take this off and put it on either side, whatever one that you want, and it is also dishwasher safe. The car seat itself has a steel reinforced frame. There are 12 different recline options that you handle right here with this. You just stick your hand in and you press forward, you press backwards, just obviously whatever you're looking for. And also down here at the bottom, I'm going to put a close up because it's a little hard to see from this far away, but there is a a hang off indicator. This is because there is only so much of your car seat that can hang off of the seat in your car. Hopefully that's understandable, but that indicator is on there as well. So the shoulder pads do come off by buttons, which I actually really enjoy. So there's those. There's also a crotch buckle pad, but that is left in our car right now, but that comes with it. And then obviously the cover itself does come off and you are able to clean those as the manual says. Okay, so now into some of the more key features about this car seat. It does the 360 degree swivel. Basically what I'm saying is that if you push it up, you are able to go ahead and turn it completely 360 degrees. The only thing is that you need to make sure that when you are driving, you're ready to go ahead. It needs to be in a locked position that's appropriate for whatever your child is sitting like. So there are indicators over here on the side there is also a level down here as well to show you what is allowed for rear facing, what's allowed for forward facing. And like I said, you need to make sure that you hear that click and that it's in the appropriate setting for however your child is riding. But you are able to turn this to get your child in the car so it can face you. And then whenever you're ready to put them in the car, you would just go ahead, swivel whatever way, and then you would lock it and then you're able to drive on. So the swivel feature is really nice. 
So next up is the load leg. It is down here. I am going to also put an up close clip of when it was installed in our car seat so you can get a better feel for what this looks like when in use. But the load leg stabilizes the car seat and it can also reduce motion in some car crashes. I'm going to leave links down in the description box below to better explain the load leg and also the anti-rebound bar, which is what I'm about to talk about. Those are two safety features. I've done my own research with them. I highly recommend that you do yours as well. With the load leg, it does have two different indicators if it is in a good position. So the first one is right on top right here, and the other one is all the way down at the bottom, and it's on either side. So you can see it no matter where you're installing it from. So it is green if it's okay, it's red if it is not, and you will have to adjust it obviously if you're in the red. Okay, so I went ahead and turned the car seat so you're able to see the anti-rebound mechanism that this car seat has. Some car seats have a bar, but this is more built into the base of it, so it's not technically a bar, it's just part of the car seat. I will be giving an up close of this as well so you can see it when it's installed, but this reduces the car seat rebound movement, and again, I will put some more information down below so you can better understand that as well. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in so we could talk about the sensor safe. This is a technology that is on a few different brands of car seats, but with this, it will alert you if there's any unsafe situations or just to kind of alert you when things happen. So if the chest buckle is unclipped or clipped, the temperature of the car, if the baby has been left in the car, things of that nature. As you can see right here, it also does say place at armpit level, so I love that. And then anytime you do go to unlock it, it will also notify you as well. So this is just a look at the sensor safe. This is literally all it is. And there's also a little adapter that is put into our car. So Cybex does say that it's compatible with most vehicles that are 2008 and newer. So I went ahead and I undid the chest clip just because the notifications were blowing up my phone. I know that there are some really strong opinions about this. Some people believe that parents shouldn't have to be reminded that there's a child in the back of the car that they should just know that. However, hot car deaths, as we call them in the United States, are a very real thing. On average, 39 children under the age of 15 die each year from heat strokes after being left in the vehicle. I think energy is better well spent not criticizing parents but making products like this that help eliminate that. They're horrible accidents so anything that is made to prevent that, I'm behind 100%. So on either side of the car seat right here, you do have the linear side impact protection and they pop out just like that. You'll wanna read the manual so you understand what these are used for and how to use them in your car, how you have them installed. But these do absorb 25% more impact forces in a collision compared to a car seat without it. So back to the front of the car seat, you can see these black tabs right here and right over here. These are magnetic belt holders. So you just take the little belt piece right here and you just connect it. So it holds your belt straps up and out of the way. So I didn't even do it perfectly. They're a little tangled over there, but you can go ahead and you can just put your kid in the car seat and you're not fighting to get the straps from underneath them, which is super helpful in my opinion. And then lastly, I did want to mention that they do offer the live video installation, which is where you set up a face-to-face -face video chat with one of their certified car seat safety technicians, which I think is just awesome. So obviously you'll want to make sure that you're also reading the manual and how to correctly install it. But I think having somebody there who can also help guide you through it is really great. We did not use that, but I have heard of other people using it and it being very helpful. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and get into our experience and just kind of run down the different lists of stuff that my husband and I put together. Okay, so first up about the install. The install was a little tricky at first. We just weren't used to so many steps, but once we did it that first time, ever since we've had to switch sides or you know taking it in and out for stuff like this, it's been a breeze and it hasn't been a problem since. Next, my husband wanted me to make sure to tell you guys that this thing does take up a good bit of depth. It's not super wide or bulky in my opinion, but it does require a decent amount of room for the load leg and it does have all those different recline options. If you're concerned at all with the idea of it fitting in your car, I would call their customer service. From what I've heard, it is top notch and they're super helpful. So if you're able to give them the year, make and model of your car, they may be able to help you determine if this car seat is going to be a good fit for your car. Also, our daughter seems to love to poop in this thing. So I have removed the cover quite a few times and I've had to wash it. I was actually really apprehensive about this. The first time that accident happened, I was not looking forward to it. I thought it'd be a nightmare because in my opinion, most convertible car seats taking their cover on and off 
is a nightmare. Even when they have very convenient ways of doing it, it doesn't end up being that convenient if you catch my drift. So with this, I was not looking forward to it, but there's literally four buttons that you undo and then you're able to just peel the whole thing off. It basically runs on a track right here on the frame and you just push that in and then you make sure obviously it's all situated with the buckles and where it's supposed to be. You button those four buttons and you're good to go. It's honestly the easiest car seat cover I have ever experienced. And I think we've had like five different car seats now. So believe me when I say this thing is very easy to take care of. And I no longer dread if she has an accident because it's honestly not that hard to take care of. So we also like that the release button down here for the tightening strap is actually pretty deep. So you have to put your entire finger basically all the way down in there. And that's where the button is. It's not hard by any means if you're an adult putting the child into the car seat, but it means that the child would not be able to reach from their car seat if they're correctly buckled in with the straps nice and tight, they would not be able to reach down in here and also reach that button, which has been a problem with my older girls in the past. So I love that. So about the swivel, the longer we've had this car seat, the more it's come in handy. Obviously being able to tilt it towards you to put them in, that's just like a huge convenience that makes things so easy. But we also started to notice how handy it was in other situations. And I just wanted to tilt her when we were parked, obviously stationary and not moving. I was able to swivel her so she could look at people who were outside of the car and we could socialize still. And she was actually really happy because she could see what was going on. Even if we're parked somewhere and all of us are eating I'm able to get back in our other captain's chair that is doesn't have anything in it I'll sit there I'll eat my food and I'm able to swivel her towards me so she can see everything that's going on and she's much less fussy and obviously it's also helped with allowing the girls to get in and around her because it's one thing that I didn't mention and I should have earlier it does have a one-time install basically because the seat does swivel you basically install it once and then if your child is forward-facing you would just swivel the car seat to a forward-facing correct position. Now keep in mind with the install, depending on how you do it, it does have limitations. So the latch system does have weight limitations. So you need to be aware of that. Obviously, if they exceed that, you need to install it with a seat belt. But if you're within those guidelines and you're able to forward face, rear face, whatever, and you want to make that switch, you're able to do that, which is actually really, really cool. But like I was saying, it's also been handy to allow her sisters to get out of the car because she is rear facing. So I'm just able to swing her around, make her forward facing, and they can crawl around the car seat. The load leg does have a bit of a notch hanging off of it, but it's nothing my girls can't just climb over. Honestly, it's the giant seat in the way that's normally the issue, not anything that's on the floor that they could just obviously get around. So that's just been something that the more we use it, we see how convenient it is. So about the sensor safe, I already kind of touched on this and my feelings with it. I think that it's great and it's been super helpful. It's done everything that it says it's going to do. It obviously tracks the temperature. It's alerted us when, you know, the chest clip is undone, when you do it. And when you do shut your car off, it just chimes this little reminder of, hey, you know, it plays like this little song. And actually yesterday when I was getting ready for this review, I was cleaning up the car seat just making sure that, you know, all of her toys were out of it. And I clipped it shut without her in the car seat. She was inside the house with her dad. She had no part of this. It was just me and in an empty car seat, I clipped this shut just for the sake of coming back outside and filming it. I closed my car door. I went inside my house and my phone started yelling at me, child left in car. And I had forgot that I had signed up for audible notifications because you can do that and it will yell at you like that if you leave your child in the car. And I went out there, I undid the chest clip and it just keeps notifying you though because obviously she wasn't in the car seat like I said so I didn't go run out and you know undo it right away and it just kept going. It was not going to let me forget that the child was left in the car. So... I am very impressed with how this works. It works very well. We've had no issues with it. It does everything that it says it's going to do. And like I said, I know some people are highly critical of this topic. I don't think that's where the energy is best spent. I think it's better spent with stuff like this. So 100% love that feature. All in all, the longer we've had this car seat, the more we've enjoyed it. I asked my husband what he wanted me to say, his thoughts were on it, and he said, and I quote, I think it's 10 times more convenient. So he's enjoying it as well. This car seat feels very modern, but it's also very practical. Like these are technically bells and whistles, but I think if you're gonna have any bells and whistles, this is where I would start. It makes parent life a little bit more doable, convenient, practical. I just really love the things on here. And I know that it is a bit more expensive than most car seats, but I think it's money well spent. 
I know that we have personally paid more for car seats that have done far less and I'm so happy that we went with this. Like I said in the beginning of the review, we were between this and another car seat and I'm just so happy we went with this because this has just been so much more convenient than that other car seat could have ever been. So I think that it is an investment very well made and I would gladly do it again. We are very, very happy with this. It's obviously gonna fit her for years and years to come and I can't recommend it enough for you guys. So like I said, I will leave two links down below to Albi Baby, which is the site that I buy all of my car seats off of personally. They also have a reward system, which is really nice. And then I will also link Bye Bye Baby in case you wanna put this on a baby registry or you have 20% off coupons to use from there and then I will also link Amazon but like I said check the other two out first just because Amazon doesn't have the 20% off maybe it does maybe you could check with your baby registry if that would apply maybe but I'm not sure about that so I'm going to leave all those links also all the safety info down below I will also have the telephone number down below to set up the video chat if you do purchase this car seat and you're wondering what number to call I'll have that as well down there but yeah if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments below I'll do my best to answer them but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching